Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Representative Brand, I, I, I see the intention here. I think it's good. I just want to make a comment that I've, I've worked around um, uh, emerging technologies in agriculture, and actually some of the work I've done has been in, if you will, a private-public partnership, or public or private. And the concern that I have here is, is uh, as Representative uh, Anderson said, not only are there, are there companies out there doing this, there's probably companies that are doing this because they have a liability, they're going to naturally be doing this. One of the challenges that you have when you have like a public institution like the University of Minnesota come up with, a, with some sort of um, IP, mm -hmm. uh, intellectual property, they don't share well with industry. Industry doesn't share well with higher ed. Sure. And so I think the intention's there, but my concern is, is that let's say this $25,000 grant went to basically a, a student coming up with a widget or coming up with some sort of thing like that. Uh, it kind of wouldn't extend beyond that. Um, it's part of the, it's kind of the way the system is working. So um, I get what you're trying to do, and I think we all agree that uh, this is something that needs to be addressed in the farm safety. I'm just not sure that this is going to accomplish what it is that you want it to accomplish. 